Hey folks, each box in this aisle and the next aisle and the next aisle represents a different jig head, be it head weight, hook size, head color, or a different configuration. So you can imagine there's a lot of different jig heads here and it can get a bit confusing for people. So what we're gonna look at in this chapter of Soft Plastics 101 is how to choose a standard jig head for the job at hand and how to rig a plastic effectively on that standard jig head. Let's grab a few packs and get stuck into it. Okay, so we've grabbed a few different types of jig heads here to show you, and we're gonna show you how to rig a plastic nice and straight on one of those. So for starters, we're using the headlocks jig heads from TT Lures. So they're designed with that headlock grub keeper separated from the head of the jig head, and it locks that pl plastic in there nice and secure. So I've got a couple of different sorts here straight away to show you. So we've got a Headlocks Finesse, and we've got a Headlocks HD. And then this big fella here, that's a Headlocks Extreme. So that's on an, an even heavier hook. So Headlocks Finesse, you'll see on the packaging it says Finesse. And it also says L, so it's a 3.0 L. And the L means light wire or fine wire hook. Whereas our Headlocks HD has HD written there, and that's a heavy duty hook. So a heavier or an extra heavy hook and that's a thicker wire in the hook. An easy way to tell them apart on the shelf is the finesse has a blue on top, black on the bottom, and when you go to the HD, you know you're on a different type of jig head because the color's swapped over, so it's black on the top and light blue on the bottom. So the difference between the two, the Headlocks HD hook is a heavy duty hook, so it's a, a thicker wire in the hook, whereas the Headlocks finesse is a much finer wire hook. And it, you can get it in little tiny sizes like this, really fine hooks, which are great for brim and trout and those sorts of things. So the idea behind it is that the finesse hook on the fine wire is all about the ultimate penetration. So if you're fishing light lines and light drags, it's all about the tiniest tap from that fish and you can get that hook to set. You can hook them in the lip or you can, you can find the mark if they've got a bony mouth and you can set that hook. The downside of them is that that hook is not as strong, being finer wire, it's not as strong as a HD hook. So great for experienced anglers and good for those that are fishing light lines and light drags that are all about penetration. We step to that thicker hook, the HD hook, is still a black nickel chemically sharpened mustard hook, so it's still a nice sharp hook and it'll still find the mark well, but it's a heavier wire hook. So it takes a bit more to penetrate the fish, but once you do, it's a nice heavy hook to fight that fish. So great for species like snapper and other reefies and, and tailor and pelagic species, you probably want to go with that, that heavy duty hook. So let's rig our plastic. We've grabbed a 3.0 quarter ounce Headlocks HD, and we're going to put this three inch minnows on here. So firstly, what we do is we measure our jig head up against our plastic, and we can sort of see where we want the end of that hook to pop out of the, the plastic. So we want it to pop out just towards the back of the fin. We then hold the plastic securely, and it's like putting a prawn on a hook. We wanna try and go in through the center of the nose and feed that up. And we just wanna try and stay right in the center of the plastic if we can. And we just work that around and try and stay nice and straight. Some people like to rig like this, looking along the plastic. Some people like to rig like this. I prefer to just hold it sideways and I can see where I'm at. But I'll stay right in the center of that plastic. If I feel like I'm going off track, I can just pull it back down a bit and go again and I'm working that plastic up and I can start to see where I want to come out and I can just slide that hook point out through near the fin there and push it up onto the head. And that's on there nice and securely now. So I'm ready to go and catch a fish. Nice and straight and it's locked on with that headlock keeper. So a good idea is to swim that plastic at your feet in the water or swim it beside the boat and just make sure it's tracking nice and straight. I'll show you a couple here that I've fiddled around with. So that one there is straight nice, ready to go. You can see this one here, there's a bit of a gap between the head and the plastic. And all that is is because when we've threaded the plastic on, we've come out too soon. We haven't come out down towards the back here. So we don't have enough plastic to go up there and still be nice and straight. So we're a bit short on the amount of plastic we put on. On the other side of things, we can try and squeeze too much plastic on there. And in this case, we've pushed the plastic on too far. So now it's bunched up in front of the hook, bend of the hook here. So we need to pop that off again and just come out a bit further back this way to get a bit of that bunching off there. And then we end up with our nice straight plastic ready to swim. On some plastics, you'll also find they've got a rigging slot in the belly like this one here. And they rig a little bit differently because you don't need to feed the hook right through the center of the plastic. So in this case, we grab our jig head and we actually just wanna pop out in the side of the rigging slot. So again, we go in through the nose right in the center 
and we want to feed that out through and we just pop out in the actual rigging slot here. So you can see I'm not very far onto that plastic, but we're inside that rigging slot. So I can then just push the plastic up and lock it in place, spin the plastic around, and then we just pop out through the back where we normally would pop out through the back and we're ready to go, we're ready to go and fish. So we just rigged through that rigging slot on the plastic. So there you go. There's some tips for rigging your plastic. Whether you choose a finesse headlocks jig head or a heavy headlocks jig head, whether you want that fine or heavy wire, just remember to rig that plastic on nice and straight. Swim it beside the boat or around your feet and make sure it's swimming and you're ready to go. There you go, fish on.